7th Street Theater. I brought you all here tonight because Brett Simpson is dead. And somebody in this room killed him. And you know who you are, so don't sit there and look around and act as if you don't. Now all four of you had motive to kill Brett. And to be honest with you, I don't blame you. He was a double-crossing, two-timing, dirty rat, and those were his good traits. The Bible says, thou shalt not kill. And it's talking about murder. Do you remember that tragedy of 9-11, sir? Yeah, sure. Do you remember what a horrible thing it was? Of course, it was the worst. Actually, a lot of people I work with lost friends and family members that day. I discovered something very interesting about that day, sir. What's that? When the two planes hit the towers, the phone company traced every call that came from the buildings from the time of the attack until the buildings were no more. And do you know what they found? No, what? There are many verses in the Bible that talk about the end of the world. But one in particular that gets my attention is in the Gospel of Matthew in the New Testament, chapter 24, verse 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Who's the Son of Man? It's a reference to Jesus Christ. Here we go. We give it a rest. Let the man speak. He's a missionary. So what? He's an idiot. The Bible has a lot to say about the second coming of Jesus Christ. But the main thing it says is that one day he will come. I know that when we got married, we said for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, but this has been nothing but worse and certainly poor. And it's your fault, Richie. That's good. Blame it all on me. Hey, I have done nothing but love you and be the best wife that I can possibly be, but you're not holding up your end of the bargain. And believe me, it's been no bargain, Richie. Go ahead, keep blaming me. But it is your fault, and I'm done trying. You can't keep a job, you can't control your temper, you are not a good father to your children, and you're a horrible husband to me. Shut up! Louisa, there's a couple here that says they want to get married. At this time of night? Yeah. Well, tell them to come back later. I did. Did they leave? No. <laughs> Are they still here? Yeah. They said they read our ad in the paper where we do ceremonies 24 hours a day. I think we should change that ad. Mm. Honey, don't you think we should change that ad? I think we should change that ad. <sighs> And why these two kids want to get married in the middle of the night anyway? Well, now, if we didn't have kids getting married in the middle of the night, we'd be out of business. Oh, yes, you're right. Mm. Don't change that ad, honey. <laughs> now, where's the lovely couple? Every episode of this Christ-centered series is available on DVD. For more information, please visit our website at 7thStreetTheater.com.